Hello, and welcome to this, the fourth in our series of Tinkercad walkthroughs. If you haven't already watched our introduction to Tinkercad and the previous walkthroughs, I recommend that you do so now. The previous walkthroughs demonstrated how you could make a more complex object from simpler objects by adding them together, rather like Lego. Unlike Lego, Tinkercad allows you to subtract objects from each other, and this is an extremely powerful method. As in the previous walkthroughs, we're going to create our simple box. We'll begin by selecting two standard cubes and placing them on the work plane. Now a standard cube is 20 by 20 by 20. In the previous walkthroughs, we constructed our box out of five walls, or rather four walls and a base, each 20 by 20, and two in thickness. Another way to look at our box is to think of it as a cube 20 by 20 by 20 with a cube shaped hole in the middle. Now the hole is going to be 16 by 16. This is because our finished box is 20 by 20 and each wall is 2 in thickness. Therefore our inner cubic hole needs to be 16 by 16. Like so. It can be helpful to change the colour of objects in order to differentiate them from each other, like so. Next, select both objects by using the marquee tool, i.e. holding down the left hand mouse button, and then centre them using the align tool. You want to centre them directly upon each other, so that the smaller box is in the middle of the larger box. We need to ensure that our box has a base, so we need to raise the inner box up by two like so. Now select the inner box and convert it into a hole using the hole tool. Finally, we select both objects and then group them. And we have our box. As you can see, there are several ways we can make a box. A useful practice exercise might be to do a similar thing with a cylinder, producing a pipe, like so. Clearwater Public Libraries offer a free 3D printing service. Go to the link you can see on the screen here, fill in the form, upload your new STL file and send it to us. When it's printed, we'll let you know and you can come and collect it. I hope you found this video useful and that you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.